I want you to picture this, a night sky full of shooting stars, but they are not meteors. They're tiny spacecraft, each carrying medications that have been made in orbit. I know this sounds like sci-fi, but that is exactly what the company Varda Space Industries is now trying to make routine. Their idea is simple. Some medicines actually work better when they are made in space. Today on Earth, gravity and other forces mess with how crystals, which are the building blocks of drugs, actually form. And in microgravity, all of that interference disappears, which means pure, more stable crystals, which could mean longer shelf lives and better medicine. So essentially, Varda isn't inventing new drugs. What they're doing is taking existing medications and improving them, and they've already done this successfully. Back in February of 2024, Varda became only the third company in history to bring something back from orbit, crystals of an HIV medication. Now, the capsule that they use, which is called W1, is relatively small for a rocket. It's about the size of a big kitchen trash can, but it can survive a fiery re-entry to Earth at over 30,000 kilometers per hour, and it lands softly with a parachute. Now, the capsule itself is not the magic. It's really the process. Varda's CEO calls it just a magic oven where you can make formulations that otherwise wouldn't be possible on Earth. And Varda's business model is different, too. Today, most space companies launch once and then they're done, but Varda's drugs require repeated manufacturing runs. More runs essentially means more launches, and more launches means lower costs. And lower costs means more drugs become viable. So Varda CEO Brewey calls this the seven domino theory. It's a feedback loop that could eventually make space launches routine and actually affordable. But the road has not been smooth in making this happen. Varda's first capsule got stuck in orbit for six months because the landing approvals weren't in place. But when it finally returned, it was historic. The first commercial spacecraft to land on a U.S. military test range under the FAA's new rules. Now, Varda has multiple landing sites and partnerships with SpaceX and others. They're aiming for bigger and more complex drugs. And as a side benefit, their capsules re-entering at Mach 25 actually let defense agencies test materials in real hypersonic conditions. That's something that you just can't do on Earth today. So this is still a gamble. No space-made drugs are on shelves yet, but if Varda's plan works, sending medicine into orbit could become as routine as shipping anything else. And the night sky might soon light up with a whole new kind of shooting star.